Hey everybody. Um, first of all, if you recognize this room let from my past videos, let me know. Second of all, I'm sorry about the poor lighting. I'm trying to have a window open, but it's not really helping because like I said in my previous video, the tenants that were renting this house out just moved out. And long story short, they did a bunch of crap without our permission. In fact, when we did the move out inspection, they had all the blinds up and all the lights off. And I think they did that on purpose because when I came over here that night to get their keys, I went in the house to let all the blinds down. Every single one of the blinds in this house were destroyed. And, um, but anyway, still the point, the reason the lighting is so bad in here is because this light is busted. I don't know what's wrong with it, but the ceiling fan still, still works. So it's probably got a loose wire in it. Um, but anyways, so today I am doing a video on my Dyson DC 25, I believe it's called the Dyson DC 25 exclusive. So this is basically the same thing as the DC 25 multi-floor, but it's red. And this was the one I believe was only, that was only sold at QVC and Target, at least as far as I know. And, uh, I got this out the trash about four years ago. If you've been here for a while, you may remember, in fact, that I got this out the trash about four years ago. And what was wrong with it was I couldn't get the power head to work. And I bought a new power head at the time thinking that was the issue, but it wasn't. I later learned that the reset switch in here went bad, so had that fixed. And it's been working great ever since. I still need to get a new pre-filter because it's just filled with powder. I need to get a new HEPA filter because it's doing that, it's making that noise where it sounds like a duck. I don't, I don't even know about a duck. But when y'all were kids, did y'all ever like pick up a piece of grass and then blow into it? That's the sound I'm talking about that it's making. It sounds like that. So it needs a new HEPA filter and it also needs a new hose because yeah, but I haven't gotten around to getting any of that yet and I probably won't anytime soon. So <laughs> yeah, anyways, so from the bottom up, got your power head right here with your brush hole. Um, got your HEPA filter inside the ball. The motor is inside the ball. Um, in fact, I'll take it out. I don't know if I mentioned this before or if I finished my point because I'm just all kinds of scatterbrained right now with this house. But the reason I'm using new HEPA filter is because the seals are going bad. Here's the HEPA filter and it's just dirty. So yeah, HEPA filter and then the motor is on this side. So yeah, that's how that is set up. Let me put the filter cover back in. Okay, there we go. So, got your dust cup up here. You just press this, comes off, and got your pre-filter in here. It is washable, but I think this one's beyond the point of washing. So I think I'm just, cause I've washed it like eight times maybe. So I think I'm just, I'd just be better off getting a new one. So it's got the little data sticker here with no manufacturing date. So I don't even know what year this is from. It is definitely a later one from after, hold on. It's the data sticker, all the information, 11 amps, made in Malaysia. Anyways, because I know it certainly wasn't made in 2003, maybe 2014, but not sure. So, I, but I, like, like I was saying, I know it's definitely a later DC-25, DC because the older DC-25s had a, light gray core then eventually they changed it to dark gray so between 2011 ish and 2015 2016 is what i'm going to estimate for this one so yeah um power switch up here on off switch and then brush roll on and off comes with two attachments 
It may have came with more when it was new, but I don't have those because this was a trash find. Got an upholstery tool right here. And then combination dusting brush and crevice tool. This just, you just press down on this button and the dusting brush slides up. You can just use it as a dusting brush or you can slide it all the way down, just use it as a crevice tool. So that's really neat. So here's your, the back of the machine. You've got your two wheels back here. So roll, roll it when you're not using it. Got your handle release right here. Here's the hose, which like I said, needs to be replaced. And how you get the wand off, you just pull up on this. And there's also a suction diverter down here when you pull the wand up that will divert the suction from the power head to the hose. And it stretches a decent ways. I can't go very far. I can't go very far for space reasons. And plus, I don't want, want to mess up this ceiling fan even more than it already is. So just take my word for it. It's got a very, very, very long hose. So, yeah, I think that's about it that I can say about the machine. Um, it is my favorite ball Dyson. I know some people say the newer ones are better, and I agree, I agree. But I've got a lot of nostalgia for the DC-25. I've just got a lot of nostalgia for this era of vacuums in general, you know, this, the Hoover T-Series, the Bissell Clinview Helix and all that. I just got a lot of nostalgia for this era of vacuums in general because I don't know why. That, that, that was probably the time in my life that I was most into vacuums, I think is what it was. Um, <clears throat> in fact, when I was eight, I, I, try, I was trying to, because my mom wanted a DC-25, this one in fact, this exact color. I tried to, I was going to try to save up to, yes, yes, an eight-year-old saving up to buy a $500 Dyson for Christmas. Crazy, right? Um, anyways, other than that, I don't know what, what else I can say about, so I'll go ahead and run it for you guys. So power switch is right here. And here's the brush roll on and off. So press this, turn the power head off, turn it back on. And it swivels. How did I leave that out? But I think what, why I left that out was because most people already knew that because these have been out for 80 years. And before you clap me in the comments, I said 18, 80, not 8. <laughs> That's what I don't like about it. Is sometimes that, that side of the power head will pull off when you're going going backwards one thing I don't like about it It doesn't swivel as well on the floor as it does on the carpet. I think the reason for that might be because it clamps to the floor. That's my guess at least.
That right there is what I'm talking about. So, as we can see, got a decent amount of stuff up. So, does a good job. I like it. You know, I am aware it's not the best vacuum, but I do like it. It is one of my favorites because the color and it seems to do a decent job cleaning for you know an older Dyson. So, anyways, that was my Dyson DC25 exclusive. Hope you guys enjoyed.